Hello boys and girls. So I have a silly story today. What was I scared of by Dr. Seuss? So if we look, is it daytime or nighttime by the cover? It's dark. I see a crescent moon. So that tells me it's nighttime. And he comes across something very silly in the book that you don't normally see moving about. So let's see what wiggles in this story and moves about and scares our friend. Well, I was walking in the night and I saw nothing scary, for I have never been afraid of anything. Not very. Then I was deep within the woods when suddenly I spied them. I saw a pair of pale green pants with nobody inside them. Have you ever seen a pair of pants standing upright without anybody in them? I wasn't scared, but yet I stopped. What could those pants be there for? What could a pair of pants at night be standing in the air for? And then they moved. Those empty pants, they kind of started jumping. And then my heart, I must admit, it kind of started thumping. So I got out, I got out fast. As fast as I could go, sir. I wasn't scared, but pants like that, I did not care for, no sir. I've never seen an empty pair of pants run. That must have been scary. After that, a week went by, and then one dark night in Greenwich, I had to do an errand there and fetch some Greenwich spinach. Well, I had fetched the spinach. I was starting back through town when those pants raced around the corner, and they almost knocked me down. What are the pants riding? A bicycle. I lost my Greenwich spinach, but I did not even care. I ran for home. Believe me, I had really had a scare. Now, bicycles were never made for pale green pants to ride them, especially spooky pale green pants with nobody inside them. And the next night, I was fishing for doubt trout on River River when those pants came rowing toward me while I started to shiver. And by now, I was so frightened that, I'll tell you, but I hate to, I screamed and rode away and lost my hook and line and bait too. Have you ever seen a pair of empty pants row in a boat? I hadn't either. I ran and found a brickle bush. I hid myself away. I got brickles in my britches, but I stayed there anyway. I stayed all night. The next night, too, I'd be there still, no doubt. But I had to do an errand, so the next night, I went out. I had to do an errand. had to pick a peck of snide in a dark and gloomy snide field. That was almost nine miles wide. I said, I do not fear those pants with nobody inside them. I said and said and said those words. I said them, but I lied them. He was scared. Then I reached inside a snide bush, and the next thing that I knew, I felt my hand touch someone. And I'll bet you know who. Who did it touch? The pale green pants. And there I was, caught in the snide, and in that dreadful place, those spooky empty pants and I were standing face to face. I yelled for help, I screamed, I shrieked, I howled, I yelled, I cried, oh, save me from these pale green pants with nobody inside. But then a strange thing happened. Why, those pants began to cry. Those pants began to tremble. They were just as scared as I. I never heard such whimpering, and I began to see that I was just as strange to them as they were strange to me. I put my arm around their waist and sat right down beside them. I calmed them down, poor empty pants with nobody inside them. And now we meet quite often, those empty pants and I, and we never shake or tremble. We both smile and we say hi. 
the end. All right, guys, I want you to answer the questions about the story on the next slide and tell me all about the pale green pants.